My induction into the Baseball Hall of Fame into Cooperstown is not an honor I receive alone. It represents the challenges and opportunities of my career and the love and support of my family and friends, teammates, and fans. I would like to thank my teammates of four ball clubs that I played for, the Philadelphia Phillies, the Boston Red Sox, the Texas Rangers, and the Chicago Cubs. These individuals gave me an opportunity and the honor to contribute to the game that I loved, baseball. A special thanks go out to the Chicago Cubs and the Texas Rangers, and to friends like Ernie Banks and Billy Williams and Ron Santo and Joe Pepitone, Kessinger, Oliver, Beckard, Hunley, guys that did it behind me that played good defense and scored runs. Without them, Ferguson Jenkins wouldn't be here today. I was a sinker ball pitcher. I tried to keep the ball in the ballpark. Unfortunately, it didn't always stay in the ballpark. Give up my share of home runs. But with good defense and offense, I was able to win some ball games. To my pitching coaches, Al Widmar, Cal McClish, Joe Becker, and Robin Roberts, who was here on the stage, these gentlemen helped me over my career. Thank you very much. A special thanks to some of the baseball managers, guys like Andy Semenik, Frank Lucchese, and in the major leagues, individuals like Gene Mock, Leo DeRocher, and the late Billy Martin. Taught me quite a bit, and I'm still learning. I would especially like to thank the cities of Chatham, Ontario, Philadelphia, Boston, Dallas-Fort Worth, Metroplex, and Chicago. They embraced me in my moments of triumph and also in my moments of losing. Thank you very much. <clears throat> to my first country, Canada, the nation where I was born, I owe a great deal. Thank you. <clears throat> My love for Canada is immeasurable. And to the second country, the United States, gave me the opportunity to play here and to learn the sport of baseball. Thank you. And to baseball fans, these five cities, two countries, and four teams, baseball fans in every land, the recognition is very good. Thank you very much. To my boyhood friends I grew up with, the values of competition and friendship mean very, very much to me. Guys like Bobby Sukiyama, Bob Swift, Paul Brown, Darcy Peck, Matt Kundal, Kenny Milburn, Lenny Milburn. So many individuals that I'm going to forget a few, but these individuals know who they are. Being from Canada, I had an opportunity to play a lot of different sports, and these gentlemen had a factor in it. We were competitive, very small town in Chatham, Ontario, and it was enjoyable playing sports, believe me. To my high school teachers, the Jerry McCaffrey family, to Gene DeJura and his family, the scout that signed me, that did so much for me, thank you. <laughs> also, to Tony Lucadello, and his memory, the scout that signed me originally with the Phillies. Thank you. I share this day with my family, with their enduring love and pride. My parents, aunts, uncles, cousins encourage me to be consistent and to complete and try to be successful. This remarkable family taught me to be open-minded and fair and to respect my fellow man. I want to recognize the three women in my life, Kathy, and Mary Ann, who her children grow with her, and Cindy. No words can express the love and the gratitude and the appreciation for you. Thank you. Yeah. 
my children, Kelly, Dolores, Kimberly, Raymond, and Samantha, who I have taught with great recognition comes great responsibility. I hope I have motivated and inspired you. Life has taught us all that fabric of life is interwoven with wins and losses, successes, joys, and tragedies. We cannot all know the pattern of this fabric of life, but we can understand the mysteries that it holds. If we do understand the unbreakable faith in the thread and the seams together, the heart and soul, that during these tests of difficulties and cherished times of joys and happiness. I have your love. Thank you very much. And to my parents, Dolores Louise, Fergie Jenkins Sr., taught me that to know your capabilities and to recognize the capabilities of others. They taught me that in my effort to accomplish a lot of these successes, I had to work hard to strive for excellence and to reach my potential. My parents were both loving, strong, powerful individuals. They encouraged me to play as many sports as possible. They instilled in me the strong values and solid work ethics. To my mother, <clears throat> my mother knew before I did that the sport of baseball is what I should play. Although she was blind and never saw me play, she always knew that this was the game that I wanted to do wholeheartedly. Thank you very much, Mother. I know you're here. Thank you. My father played baseball from 1925 to the 1940s in the Ontario Baseball League and also the Negro League. His opportunity to play professional ball was limited by history of that era. Fortunately, he outlived history and witnessed his change. His sacrifice in baseball has been my reward by my achievements. This day belongs also to my father. He was my first teacher. He inspired me. He was a great outfielder. He was known as Hershey. It was my father who taught me to be conscientious and responsible. It was my father who instilled the love of baseball in me. So on this day, I'm not only being inducted alone, I'm being inducted on January, July 21st, 1991, with my father, Fergie Jenkins Sr., Hershey. It is with the deepest humility and the warmest regards for the sport, I accept this prodigious award, acknowledgement and the recognition from the Baseball Writers of America and the National Baseball Hall of Fame. I will cherish it forever. Thank you very much.